It is October here in Arizona, which means planting season. So today we're giving you our top picks on citrus. everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm. If you guys have been following us along, you know that we have over 170 fruit trees here on our new farm here in the Arizona desert. And what we want to do today is we want to start a series where we're discussing our top picks for certain types of fruit. When it comes to fruit trees, one of the things that we know about Arizona is citrus does really well for us. Now the climate obviously plays a big part in that and our colder winters and very warm summers are really what drives that. So climate is really the key. So when it comes to choosing specific varieties of citrus, I like to break this out into two categories. The first one would be cooking varieties. So the two fruits that most of us think about when it comes to cooking are limes and lemons. What you see behind me here is our Meyer lemon tree. You can see it has some fruit here going into the fall and winter season that's gonna be ripening up really well for us. We also have a bear's lime. Now, when it comes to these two fruits, honestly, I would tell you that it generally doesn't matter what varieties you're gonna choose. We prefer the Meyer lemon. They actually grow nice and large here for us in Arizona. What's great about a lemon tree is you can actually pick the fruit when it's not completely ripe and you still get a wonderful lemon flavor. Of course, that gets better and better as you head into the winter season. But either a lemon or a lime, kind of up to you. We prefer the bear's lime only because it's a nice solid sized lime. It produces very heavy and it does really well for us here in Arizona. If you have space, I would do one of each. It's pretty easy to keep them controlled in size, especially if it's a Meyer lemon, they tend to be a little bit smaller in size. Same thing with the bear's lime. If you had to choose between the two, it's really up to you. We would probably choose a lime only because we use them more often, both for cooking and for drinks, but a lemon's nice to have as well. Now this brings us to our eating citrus. At least I like to refer to it that way. So this is where you're talking about grapefruit, oranges, mandarins, things like that. Generally speaking, I would break that out into your oranges, and your mandarins on the sweet side, and then you have your grapefruits. There are a lot of options when it comes to oranges. You have your navels, things like caracaras and Washington navels, and then you also have your Arizona sweet varieties. If you had to narrow it down to a single orange tree, I would choose one of the Arizona sweet varieties. What you see here is our Trevita orange. These Trevitas do fantastic for us here in Arizona, hence the name in Arizona sweet. The fruit size, if you're thinning well, will get bigger than a baseball, so a very good sized fruit, and they taste fantastic. So again, narrowing it down to one, this would be my choice, a Trevita Arizona sweet. Now, if you had space for two, there is a second one. A Cara Cara orange is really hard to beat. It's gonna be a larger fruit. It is a navel variety. It has a slightly pink color to the flesh, which gives it a little bit of complexity over, say, your Washington navels. But a Cara Cara, if you have a second spot, would definitely be on my list. Now that brings us to our mandarins. This particular category of fruit is what all of us kind of know as cuties in the grocery store. Those are different types of mandarins that are picked at different times of the year in different areas. You have lots of options here as far as variety and when they're ripe. The tree I'm standing next to here is our tango mandarin. This is actually a seedless variety. So if you are not gonna have any seeded varieties in your yard, that's the key or have any of your neighbors have a seeded variety, then this is gonna be mainly seedless. A wonderful tasting fruit and a great option if you can find them. They're not always easy to find. You can see though, the tree itself is very prolific. A lot of fruit set in here and we've thinned these trees very, very heavy. In fact, we pulled about 50 to 60%, maybe more of the fruit off of this tree. 
and that'll give you a slightly larger fruit. Although I will tell you, anything in the Mandarin category, generally speaking, is going to be a smaller fruit because of course, they wind up being cuties. This is our honey mandarin, which is another great option, but one I wanna point out that you might wanna consider avoiding, that's the Awari Satsuma. We had one on the old property, it struggled for several years, never did all that well. You guys know we're big fans of Reed at RSI Growers, a fantastic nursery for us here in Arizona. And one of the things he had mentioned is that particular variety needs a fair amount of moisture. So higher humidity is the key with that variety, which tends to make that a struggle for us here in Arizona, being a dry desert environment. So one of the other varieties, either a daisy, a honey, a tango, any of those varieties would be fine as far as your mandarins are concerned. So the last category I wanna talk about is grapefruit. Now we have two different types of grapefruit here on the farm. What you see behind me here would be a pomelo, a Chandler pomelo to be specific. One thing I can tell you about this variety is it does struggle during our winters, especially when it gets cold. While it's a really cool, very, very large fruit, the challenge will be our cold winters. So this is one that if you had two spaces, you might wanna give it a shot. If not, this is the variety you actually want. So when it comes to grapefruits, our top pick is the ruby red grapefruit. This is a wonderful variety for us here in Arizona. If you guys have any neighbors with any type of grapefruit, you know they produce abundantly. You only really need one tree. You'll have more grapefruit than you know what to do with. Now we prefer the ruby red grapefruit. It's a wonderful sized grapefruit, but more importantly, it has that pink color which helps give it some additional antioxidant benefit that you're not gonna get in the white varieties. So the ruby red grapefruit would be our choice if you were down to one particular variety of citrus and you want a grapefruit. So to recap for citrus, our choice when it comes to lemons or limes, we prefer a lime, but either one of those two, you'd wanna choose one or hey, do them both if you can. When it comes to sweet citrus, our number one choice when it comes to oranges would be the Arizona sweet varieties, more specifically the Trevita, is a fantastic orange tree for us here. As far as mandarins are concerned, you have a lot of options. We really like the tango. The honey is fantastic as well. So is the daisy, it's the reason we have them all. Actually, we also have a gold nugget, so we've got a lot of mandarins here. But any one of those varieties would be a fantastic choice for you. And again, one of them is probably just fine. And then when it comes to grapefruits, our go-to grapefruit is the ruby red grapefruit. Very easy to find, that slightly pink color to the flesh gives you some additional benefits. We really love that fruit. One final note when it comes to citrus. You wanna make sure that you're getting a good rootstock for us here in Arizona. Your California rootstocks, in my experience, have not done well for us here. So there are a couple different types. The Seville, I know, is a fantastic option. If you're getting your trees from either Reed at RSI Growers, when he has them, Summer Winds or Richard's Garden Center, those are all great choices for us on the north side. I know Elgin Nursery is a great option as well. There's a couple more on the East Valley that are good as well. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of things that we cover here on this newly established farm. Obviously citrus trees are one of the things that we have, but would love to see on a regular basis. Any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section down below. I'd especially like to get your opinions when it comes to citrus, especially for us here in Arizona. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. So today we're going to give you our top picks for citrus. I got to say that again, thanks to Kettle. The challenge is going to be 